Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. Today I'm gonna be doing a little unboxing and uh, setup of this Unify Flex Mini uh, two and a half gig uh, five port Ethernet switch. And this is how it comes to you in the mail. You get some UI packaging tape. And so we're gonna open this up and do an unboxing and I'll show you how to set it up here. So this is what it looks like uh, when you get it in the box. It's just a small little square, Unify branding. Uh, shows a picture of what the switch looks like and then it has a convenient little pull tab here so we'll go ahead and pull this a little QR code I guess it tells you how to set it up and then you get your switch here you just pull in this pull tab it comes out unravels pull it out and you have your five ports here um, this port here on the end is PoE uh, in, so you can power this with PoE, or you can power it with the USB-C adapter that it comes with, and that's the only thing left in this box is a USB-C adapter. So a little wall wart here, and then you got your USB-C end. Let's see how long it is. Eh, it's fairly decently long. And here in the next clip, I'll get it all plugged up with PoE. Um, I have a switch over here. I'll look up what model it is, but it's a two and a half gig PoE switch. So I'll power that with this and then I'll plug it up into my laptop here. I have a five gig um, USB-C adapter I'll plug it up to. The two and a half gig um, Flex Mini switch plugged into port five of my Enterprise PoE uh, switch here. Um, and this sends two and a half gig and PoE over to the Flex Mini here, and I have it plugged into the port, the PoE end port of the switch, and then port one here uh, runs over to my laptop, and that's white because I haven't adopted it yet. Once I adopt it, it'll turn blue. Um, but it's plugged in here to my five gig USB-C um, uh, Ethernet adapter, and here in a minute I'll show you uh, adopting the switch and getting it set up. Well, I got my computer, my laptop here, plugged up to the Flex Mini uh, switch on port 1. And here in a minute, I'll show you how to adopt the switch on your Unify controller and do a couple speed tests and see if it actually is 2.5 gig. Um, I am connected at 2.5 gig. I went into my Ethernet stats and it says speed 2.5 gig. So I am connected at full 2.5 gig. And we will go into my Unify controller here and click on network. And then if I go to devices, you can see it here, US Flex 2.5 gig, click to adopt. So I'll go ahead and adopt it. And I plan on replacing my other switch, which uh, is just a regular one gig uh, Flex Mini. I plan on replacing it with this. So this is my one gig Flex Mini here, and I plan on swapping it out to this new one here. So while we're waiting on it to adopt, um, I should have, I should still have internet connection. So we'll run a quick speed test to my server because I only have uh, one gig internet at my house. So we'll run a quick speed test here and see how fast it, it connects over to my server. Well, the internet just dropped out because I guess because the switch is updating. So we'll run it here after it updates. Well, it looks like the switch got done updating here, um, slash adopting, and it's uplinked at two and a half gig. And my PC is plugged into port one here. It's two and a half gig, and then port five is uplink port, and that's five gig, uh, five or not five gig, two and a half gig. Sorry, two and a half gig is blue, uh, one gig is green and fast internet, that's what FE stands for, is yellow, it's 10100. So we'll go ahead and here and run a speed test on my Unraid build. And we'll see what we get. And that's about one and a half gig uh, download, uh, 1.6 gig. And this is, I don't know, it's probably just something with Unraid. And we'll see what we get on the upload here in a minute. And the upload's about a gig. I'm not sure why it's slower, but I'm gonna go over here to my other box, my TrueNAS scale box. 
and run a speed test on that. And I think TrueNAS scales a little bit quicker. Yep, 2.1 gig. Uh, jumped up to 2.4 there for a second. And we'll see what we get on the upload. But in my opinion, the $20 or whatever it is extra for the 2.5 gig Flex Mini is way worth the price because in theory, you know, you get double the speed. And again, with this one, it's about 1.3 on the upload. So my closing thoughts on this Flex Mini 2.5 gig is uh, it's a great little two and a half gig ethernet switch you know it's poe powered and you can configure vlans on it and it's you know ubiquity's ecosystem and you know once you get in their ecosystem it's kind of hard not to uh use something else um but right now i just looked on their website and they're all sold out but for 49 dollars you know 50 bucks i think it's well worth the price and i'll definitely be integrating this into my home network as a little media switch on my entertainment stand in my living room. But all in all, I hope you guys have a good one. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.